tonight, the King 5 investigators show us the incredible change that can happen to a child with disabilities with one simple adjustment in their education, giving them a seat in the classroom with other kids in school. So in our series on special education in the state of Washington, back of the class, we've shown how Washington is one of the worst in the country when it comes to segregating children with disabilities, such as autism and Down syndrome. Investigator Susanna Frame here now with the latest on that continuing investigation. Greg and Joyce, many kids with disabilities in Washington spend a majority of their days separated from the typical learners in school. Even though state and federal law states they have the civil right to be included as much as possible. So check out the changes for one student when his new school said, yes, you have a seat in the class with everybody else. I gotcha. Smoothie snacks. Smoothie snacks. It's right there. Do you remember where the ground beef is? This is 14-year-old Sam Clayton. Oh, oh, yeah. Over there, that's right. But it's a, it's a bit further along. Making moves in the aisles of Safeway. One, one more. This one. Go for it. How he's shopping his way through the store shows improved confidence and independence. You got it. Very good. Nice job. <laughs> what else? Pasta and rice. We're nearly at the end, look. Tagging along with Sam and his dad, we also saw his progress in Hi. Hi. communication skills. He ordered his own drink at Starbucks. What's your name? Sam. S-A-M. Good spelling, buddy. He greeted a checker. Hi, how are you? I am doing well, how are you? Oh, thank you. And he told our photographer, Ryan, how much he liked him. I, I like you, Ryan. He's really just thrived in so many ways academically, I think, and socially, and it's just been a great experience for him. The new experience for Sam began this school year on day one of high school as a freshman at Decatur in Federal Way. For the first time in three years, school administrators allowed him to learn alongside his non-disabled peers, like in this music class. He also took general education pottery and a leadership class. And Garden. Garden? Did you make that? Yeah. Where fellow students helped Sam with projects like this one, then signed their names and words of encouragement. Big hug. There we go. And now we're starting to see that um, the old Sam kind of reemerge and be more confident and silly and, you know, social. And so it's such a blessing to see that again, because by the third year of middle school, we were feeling pretty despondent about things. For three years at Taffet Sahali Middle School, Sam spent every day, all day, in a segregated classroom, only interacting with other students with disabilities. Even at lunch, he sat separately. None of the other kids even knew his name. It breaks my heart that there are kids in his school who may not understand, that don't understand what Down syndrome is, that may be afraid of it. Last year, Sam's mom, Sandy, described those isolating middle school years where the family watched him become withdrawn, not wanting to go to school, and not making much academic progress. And I think it's just wrong on so many levels, and not just for Sam, but for, you know, the other kids in the school. It's, it's an opportunity lost. <laughs> you, we can't get this through these three years back. Like Sam, Thousands of children in Washington state are shut out of regular classrooms. Our investigation found only 54% of our kids with disabilities spend a majority of their day in general ed. And for students with intellectual disabilities like Down syndrome and autism, that number's down to 5%. Only two states in the country, Nevada and Illinois, have a number worse than that. Outcomes for kids with disabilities are not better when they're in segregated classrooms. Dr. Eileen Schwartz is a special education expert at the University of Washington. And what the research tells us is that children with disabilities do better when they're in inclusive classrooms and children without disabilities do as well. School records show Sam did do better. All right. With noticeable improvements in math, reading, and social skills. What we're seeing now in just the first year of high school shows so much promise, and I think, you know, it can only go up from here. This video taken in middle school last year shows just how much Sam was left out, attending his first ever school dance. While Sam was surrounded by kids, he was actually alone. No one spoke to him. No one came and said, hi, Sam. No one danced with him. 
No one took a selfie with him. He was aware. He was aware that there were no kids around him. Compare that to this year's high school band concert, where Sam, alongside general education musicians, opens up the show. Listen to what happens at the end of the song. It's the sound of inclusion, of kids knowing a fellow student who happens to have a disability. They were so fully, fully 110% supporting him with what he was doing up there in that performance. And he knew that. You could see it on his face. I got really choked up and thought, this is amazing, this is for Sam. It was just really amazing to see them recognize Sam that way. I don't know if you could tell, but the kids were yelling, Sam, Sam, I mean, it's such a great moment. And the parents absolutely loved it. We're so glad they got it on videotape. As for the Federal Way School District, they wouldn't tell us why Sam was completely segregated his entire middle school career or why now he's able to participate in general education classes. And they also wouldn't let us inside Decatur High School. So unfortunately, we couldn't show you what was happening inside school. But I think like Safeway and the band um, you video, get you get the sense. idea, right? Yeah. yeah. Because the first time you met him, he hardly spoke to you. He said compared to three now. words. He said three words. We spent several hours with him. And then this time, just the walk through Safeway, he, he was talking a lot. Talking to Ryan, that was yeah, really cool. Yeah, that was so cute. Jeez. First, you know, and, and for the students, what a difference in education makes. Whether yeah. you're educating for the parents, the district, or, or kids. Compassion. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is wonderful nice job. to see how, much, now they how know far his he's name. come. Now they know his name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. It's great. Susanna, thank you.